Ah, good day to everybody. Uh, we're gonna do a awesome video. We're gonna avoid um, one half of the golf course today. It's gonna be great. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna give you my top five tips to not go left. Uh, Cause that's, that's never good. Now, if you're lefty, uh, the same things apply. You're just not gonna go right, okay? But uh, anyways, you get the idea. I'm righty, so we're gonna do it for the right-handed person. It's gonna really help your game out. So when things kinda go south, you can at least avoid east or west. One of the two. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, all the links and stuff that I, uh, for the products and stuff I use and recommend are in the video description below so be sure to check that out also if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest golf tips and drills and product reviews please hit that uh, subscribe button and the bell notification that way you don't miss anything uh top five tips coming at you right now okay uh tip number one is this do not whatever you do do not aim right so many times what happens is you start going left so you start aiming more right. So you keep going right, right, right with your body. And then you keep coming over the top, over the top, over the top, over the top. So do not try to fix the left miss by aiming to the right. That will uh, just, it will create additional problems that you do not want. Believe it or not, um, aiming to the left will actually help you not miss left but we'll get to more of that later. So just remember, don't try to fix the left miss by aiming right. Let's move on to number two. Okay, uh, tip number two is this. Um, it's gonna have to do with your setup, okay? So many times I see people trying to fix their left by moving their hands more forward. Actually, when you move your hands forward, it causes you to pick that club straight up in the air. So you come here and you're chopping straight down on the ball, which causes you actually to start shutting that face, which makes it even go more left. So we want to make sure our setup, our hands are actually moving backwards for setup. So instead of this, we're here, okay? Middle. I talk a lot about center setup. Step two is set up in the center. Even with the driver, my hands are in the center, the ball is just a little forward of that, okay? Hands here, and I just tilt, and that gets everything in the correct position, here. So make sure those hands are not forward. We're trying to save the left by pushing the hands forward, and that's gonna, that's gonna destroy us. So many of the avoidance types of swings are we're, we're doing things that are creating more problems. So we don't want to do that. We want to have proper fundamentals and, uh, and that's going to fix hitting to the left side of the golf course. Number three. Okay, number three is, uh, it, it kind of goes in line with number one, is don't, don't correct it by aiming right. Here is this, and I see this so many times, is we have our feet, and our club face aiming at the exact same spot. Let me show you. Okay, if I have the white alignment stick aiming down the middle of the, the fairway there, and then I also have my foot line in the middle of the fairway. Right, now they're both lined up in the middle of the fairway. Do you see the problem? Watch. This is something I see all the time, and it causes people to go left all the time. It's improper alignment. So this step is we have to make sure we're squared up okay this is not squared up you would think that hey my feet are aimed in the middle my club is aimed in the middle but that's that's not how it works okay you want your club face to point where you want the ball to start okay and then you want everything else to be squared up or parallel to that so So now those two alignment sticks match and the left one is actually aiming down the left side of the fairway. So now I'm squared up. So remember, we always want our feet 
to line up left of where a club face is aiming. They should not be pointing in the same spot, not for a straight shot. If they're, if you're like this with your feet and your face, you're crisscrossing yourself and you're going to have problems. Typically it's going to go left or way right. But since we want to avoid left, we don't want that to be in the equation. So we've got to make sure our feet are lined up left of where our club face is pointed. Now you just have to practice lining up like that so you know what it looks like when you look. Because if you're here and you practice wrong all the time, when you do it right, it's going to look totally different. And when you're on the course, if it looks totally different, it's going to cause you problems. So um, work on that one. Let's move on to number four, critical stuff coming up. Let's do it. Okay, number four, this is super critical, as are all of them, but you have to make sure your club face is square. I see open faces, shut faces all the time. So we have to just practice. We gotta practice making sure our club face is pointed where we're going. So get your alignment stick. Okay, get two of them, put them like that, get them fairly close to each other, okay? Put your ball in the middle, use your club face, and you know, you should be able to have a, a straight line on the club face. That's just like, like, so if it's crooked, you know you're open. If it's that way, it's shut. So you should be able to see what you're doing. You can also put a T right in your, club face and just see, okay, where's that pointed? Put it down, oh, that's good. If the T is one way or the other, that's no good, obviously. So you have to practice making sure you're squared up, your club face is square. And if your club face is square and your alignment and everything else is good, you're, uh, you're like 95% of the way there. So just make sure you're practicing squaring that face up. And if you're hitting off a mat, you just push that against the back of the mat so you could feel what it's, what it's like to have, actually have a square club face. If you don't practice this, you'd be, how, you, you're, you'd be surprised how easy it is to just get off a tiny bit. It makes a huge difference. So practice squaring that club face up. And one more tip for you. Might save your life. Well, it'll help you from going left. You're gonna love it. Uh, save the best for last. But you can't do the last one unless you do all these. And now you're ready. You're ready for advanced lesson. Let's do it. Do you know how many clothes I ruin for you guys? I get them laying down and doing all this stuff. A lot. You're worth it. Um, okay, last it's tip to five. It's not the last thing, but it's number five. Here's what you're going to do. In your swing and practice this at the range before you just go and do it on the course because it'll, it'll mess you up. But we want to practice keeping that right elbow in as we make contact with the ball. So you wanna be right elbow down here, okay? Down in here. That's gonna help you rotate and do all the things we wanna do. So you're lined up, everything's good. You did all step one through four. As you hit, you're gonna come in here and keep that, try to keep it tucked in and bent a little bit. Once you extend, that extension, it's gonna extend for a number of reasons. One is you. You're coming out of the shot. You're um, coming over the, a lot of extension reasons. But if we could practice keeping that elbow in and bent, okay, it's going to keep you down, and you're going to have to rotate. Otherwise, you're going to. It's not going to work, okay. But you will rotate right in here, in here. Like you can't go left if you're doing that. It's like near impossible. But if you're all messed up with your alignment and everything else is off of whack, then uh, then you nothing's gonna work. So get those pieces down and then practice right elbow in. Like you do that, you do that elbow thing. I mean that's that's gonna revolutionize your game. But specifically, it's gonna eliminate one side of that golf course. There you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful for you and that you're gaining confidence out there and you are eliminating a lot of the problem areas of the game. So we're avoiding one half of the golf course here. 
uh, please smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already appreciate the love and support i love you guys see you in the next video